Today in this video right here, I'm going to be showing you how to make a lot of money in GTA 5 Online. So if you're poor in GTA 5 Online, look no further. I'm going to help you how to make a lot of money right now. Now keep this in mind. The first two money methods that I show in this video, you got to do like literally right now. Like no jokes, it's for limited time. So keep that in mind. You got to do that right now. But I'm going to show you how to make a lot of money in this video right here. You can make millions of dollars. So keep that in mind. But that being said, hey, hey, let's jump right into this stuff right here. So the first money method we can do this week in GTA Online that can make us a lot of money. And everybody out there in GTA Online can do this. So the first spot I'm gonna go to is right over here because we got 10 spots where spooky ghosts pop up We need to take pictures of them and get a lot of money with it So right here to be a ghost popping up at 19 o'clock It's either gonna be the top of this church or that's gonna be on this little island right over here For me, it actually popped up right here at the church Gotta take a picture of this ghost. It might be a little camera shot, but that's okay $40,000 now these are all correct times They're just all out of number wise because I don't know how to do math because I'm a little dyslexic But this is how you should do it now right over here at 20 o'clock. I don't know times, right? This is military time I'm not in the military nor can I tell time, but I know one thing I want to get is a lot of money so right over here we spooky ghost popping up somewhere over here in this haggard area now for me it's gonna be over here to my left it's gonna be a spooky ghost don't get too scared but there the ghost is we gotta take a picture another forty thousand dollars right there you just love to see it we almost made a hundred thousand dollars by taking two pictures of two ghosts you just love to hear the economics in this right so right over here in this location there'll be ghosts popping up and keep that in mind so right over here by the memorial on top of this little water tower thing a ghost will be popping up at literally 21 o'clock again i don't know time now might not pop up the second the time hits don't worry about that give it some time you know the ghost takes time it doesn't automatically jump to conclusions it takes time to be spooky and whatnot it's so right there the ghost popped up right there top water tower another forty thousand dollars wow you just love to see it so the next location is gonna be right over here on top of this bridge now me personally i would recommend doing all these little things here with maybe a presser or a jet to get to these destinations a lot faster also if you didn't know you could take a picture of a ghost in your jet this is tremendous and that's exactly what i did listen we got that gosh darn ghost another forty thousand dollars in the bank we're gonna make a lot of money with it so that i can tell you so next location will be it over here this location is actually the spot they load you into after you do the ko pirico heist it's gonna be right over here there's be a spooky ghost i tell you there's always ghosts in this game they're always haunting me right it's kind of like the necklace in the heist i always get it i never see the pink diamond right here at 23 o'clock the ghost gonna pop up right over there haunting me as usual because listen it knows i'm always gonna get the necklace in this heist and there's a spooky ghost take a picture take a picture only lasts for like a couple of minutes bada boom bada bing another forty thousand dollars right there in my bank account now right over here this location right over here by the dam i'm gonna say at midnight maybe i know time maybe i don't maybe i'm just messing with it maybe i know military time because look at this we got a ghost a spooky ghost popped right over here at the dam he probably fell i'll be damned right i'll take a picture of this ghost right here now i actually this is my last ghost but there's two more ghosts to go to but look at this i got a total four hundred thousand dollars but wait but wait it gets better you get yourself an outfit i think for your car but also you get yourself an extra fifty thousand dollars total of four hundred fifty thousand dollars you get for taking 10 pictures of ghosts which is tremendous this. but hey we still got more ghosts to go to because these are all in correct times i did them out of order because listen i tell you the truth i'm not all there but that's okay so the next spot is going to be right over here this might be a little hard to find but look for the gosh darn bolden right here in this location that says raven yes you said div why am i looking for this bolden that says raven well actually right next to that door a ghost might pop up so if you look at that door right there a ghost may pop up or that actually might pop up right there in that little crane like straight ahead right there but for me it actually popped up right by the raven sign around was that 130 it was, i'll be honest with you this guy was a little late a little scared but i said no what i gotta take a picture of this ghost nobody's gonna believe me forty thousand dollars right there on may's bank account i'm just loving what i'm seeing right here in this location we got a spooky ghost not the next location right over here this is a tremendous spot may you say also you want to know something that's tremendous you write in the comments below the letter t and i'll heart everyone those comments because you my boy the true mvp i know she in the comments below right so right over here we got a spooky ghost look at this we can see the ghost from a distance i was up at 2 a.m so bada boom bada bang took a picture of that ghost listen he was a little shy but listen we got the photo done forty thousand dollars right there my May's bank account. Now the ghost in this location right here might blend in. It actually might blend in with the wall. It might be one of those ghosts that have camouflage. But this guy right here, we're gonna have to take a photo of it. I think it's a woman ghost. Is it a woman ghost? Actually, no, it's a guy. He's just chilling up there. Bada boom, bada bang. Another forty thousand dollars right here. You gotta go to. And this is actually the last ghost in the whole entire little collection we got here. So it'd be a ghost popping up right over here by the casino. Listen, it's five a.m. People are waking up. People got things to do. You're out here finding ghosts. God bless. You could be doing something totally different, like solving physics and stuff right but look at this physics we got ourselves a ghost do you believe in ghosts i'm not sure right in the comments below if you believe in ghosts i think i saw a couple so those are all those 10 ghosts that we got giving us a total of four hundred fifty thousand dollars in outfit and a cool little thing we can have for our car that's pretty sweet right but not as sweet as this right here if we go to play jobs our story created to go to survival we got two times of money and rp and a survival that has zombies in gta 5 line i believe it's only for a limited time just like the ghost exposed so you gotta do this right now if you're as hyped as me right now that gta 5 line well survival has zombies 
please drop a like and subscribe because trust me, this is tremendous stuff. Now, yes, yourself, Dib. How hard is it to survive over here? I actually did this all by myself because I have no friends. But don't worry about this. You can actually do this 100% solo. You just need to have a lot of weapons and a lot of ammo and a lot of snacks that I can tell you. So there'll be zombies popping up and a lot of other creatures. Might be actually yourself, Dib. Jump on that grave right there. You know, zombies can't get you. They're not that smart. Well, it's true, but you can't jump on top of these graves. But if you somehow get on top of them, rocks are just going to slide you right off. Trust me, I tried it and I actually got on top of one and slid me right off. Here come the zombies right now. The first wave, it's always easier. I believe they run a little bit slower the first couple of waves and I know where they start running crazy. Now, I recommend using the good old American shotgun taking out these zombies. Go for the headshots as you normally would do if it's a zombie apocalypse. You want to go for the headshots. Again, they have no thoughts and no brains, but you take them out somehow with the head, they go down. I'm going to give you all the tips I did right here in the survival right here because I did it all by myself. I was somewhat proud of it. Literally, no jokes. The first wave is nothing. You can easily do that literally with your eyes closed. That's how easy it is, but it's going to get a lot harder that I can tell you. Now, the second wave is when the blood pressure starts to rise a little bit, a little bit, may I say, because the zombies start going a little bit crazier and they start running a lot faster. And out of nowhere, eventually, there'll be some animals that are possessed and they will try night night in you. This is basically like Pet Cemetery meets Resident Evil. Basically, look, there's a, there's a gosh darn pig. The pig tried eating me. I'm supposed to eat the pig. So eventually I got past the second wave. I got myself to the third one. Now halfway through the third one, something spooky happened. I looked behind me and guess what? There's a zombie that's on fire. Don't get too close to this thing. Even though it's things like five feet away from it, it'll still get you. So make sure you stay far away from that zombie because that zombie can get you. Trust me, when doing this survival right here, make sure you have a lot of armor and snacks. It's going to come in handy. Trust me on that. Also that in the distance, yeah, that's a zombie. That's a juggernaut that's on fire. You got to watch out for those guys. They're hard to take down. And look at this here. I made it to the ninth wave all by myself. I have sticky boys I'm throwing out there. Just the night night, these zombies look how fast they are. They're basically like in a marathon or something. They're basically Olympic runners. And I was running with my gosh darn minigun and eventually came over here in front of the gosh darn church and something spooky happened. I got my minigun on. I was ready actually to night night all the gosh darn zombies. I know where the fart lord popped up. I'm like, what is this fart creature and why is he doing farts all around me? If the fart lord pops up next to you, run because he can night night you with one hit. So keep that in mind. This is what he got. Looks like watch out we'll try crap dusting you he tried to keep that in mind you got to keep on running take him out this is him swinging his little baseball bat around like what are you doing dude it's not, it's not a baseball game but we're trying to night night the zombies bada boom bada bang there's a couple of these fart lords around this gosh darn cemetery so keep that in mind do not stay in the farts for too long you're gonna get night nighted so eventually made it to the 10th gosh john wave this is a cool trick i recommend doing turn your back and run as fast as you possibly can and have yourself a little couple grenades and throw them while you're running because the zombies behind you will get night nighted that way that's how i cut I'm doing and took them out but watch out for the juggernauts the juggernauts there's me a lot of them right here in the 10th wave i'm just gonna keep on running throwing my grenades down and i turn around and try to give them a little one two punch but watch out for the crap dust and the fart lord's gonna get you don't get too close and personal to these big juggernauts that are on fire because listen they will night night you and also watch out for the ones that have electricity on them because they will explode i eventually took out all the juggernauts the last to take out was the fart lords just swinging their baseball bats and guess what bada boom bada bing i survived the whole entire survival wave 10 past you just love to see it got myself a hundred thousand dollars plus it should be a lot more rocks or just saying but hey if you actually survive three rounds at a survival right there guess what actually, i survived 10 so i'm gonna get myself additional hundred thousand dollars for the weekly challenge which is actually tremendous so a total of two hundred thousand dollars i made right there from survival the zombies a lot of fun i wish they were in free mode that'd be even more fun to rock so just do it i tell you it's not that i came over here to my gosh darn savage yard i had this little mini heist i need to do now i had to come over here by the casino you actually said dev why are you doing this right here here. Well, every week in GTA 5 lines of a salvage yard, you get yourself three cars. Now, this is my first mission I'm doing right here. The first mini heist to get myself a tremendous vehicle that I can sell. There's a total of three of them I gotta do for the salvage yard in order to get the vehicles. So, I'm gonna show you the first mission I did. So, I had to get my nice little truck right over here and drive it close next to the gosh darn casino. I had to call my boy called Detonate, right? He's right there. I gotta call him because, listen, I destroyed the toilet bowl. No jokes. I'm not even joking with you. The toilet bowl has been destroyed. Yours truly has fully destroyed the toilet bowl in GTA 5 line. It's almost like real life now, right? So right now I got to clean up my mess. So I'm coming over here. I'm going to get my little duffel bag that actually has like a rope on it. So I can go down a gosh down elevator shafts, but that's okay. I'm going to run over here because listen, there's a problem. Stuff for smelling and I cause a problem. I'm going to solve the problem. No jokes. I literally caused the problem and I'm going to clean it. Listen, I'm taking some responsibility in this game for one. So this guy here always gets smacked in the face when you do the 
the heist. He's back. Listen, he doesn't like the smell, neither do I, but I cause a problem. I'm going to go ahead and solve. Like, no jokes. We literally have to clean up a number two. There's a number two on the ground right here. I cause a problem. I'm going to clean it up. Listen, it's actually, look, it's glistening. Yeah, it probably smells. Look, this is terrible. So, I'm going to clean up this number two from the ground. Look at this. I'm doing it pretty fast. This is probably like a sham wow. People say I talk too fast like the sham wow guy. First off, slow the video down if I talk too fast ever, okay? I get too passionate and too hyped for making these videos right here. So, now this guy's walking away. It's our time to get to the elevator because listen we're done cleaning up the number two now go down to the number one aka we need ourselves that car now the first thing we need to do is go to this elevator right here because this elevator is going to take us to a spot in the casino that's not fully made yet you're here they're working on this stuff here construction a couple props rockstar put in this gosh darn hallway to make it look like they're working on it right you can actually not even use a flashlight you can actually just look at the mini map right there and just run when the camera's not looking at you you don't need the gosh darn light like, no jokes the mini map could be your guide just watch out for the cameras i don't know what happens when the cameras see it because listen i've never been seen before i'm basically john cena in this game don't use the flashlights for this part right here just in case you want to see what's going on in the environment just run straight once the camera passes you i'm gonna start running and chafing i'm gonna be out of breath i can Tell you. I can be honest with you, my heart's pumping, but I'm hyped because I'm gonna make a lot of money right here. So, bada boom, bada bing, this is the last camera to go to. And right here, eventually, I'm gonna come across a little elevator shaft opening thing to get me down there. It's gonna be a little cool thing. I'm gonna do a Tom Cruise move right here. There it is, the elevator shaft. Let's get in there. Let's go and do some things. Literally, this whole entire map right here is too dark. I can't see a single thing. Oh, look at the light. So, now we gotta repel down a gosh darn elevator shaft. It's literally, it's so darn easy. I, they should have made this a lot harder. Like, no jokes. Have you ever done right climbing before and had to come down? I'll be honest with you. Almost fell and broke my head, but that's okay. I can't do any of this in real life. I'll be honest with you. I'm going to tell you the truth. I can't do any of this, but my character can do it. My character is so much stronger and braver than me right here. So right here, I come in this nice little gosh darn garage right here. Open this door right here. Watch out. The farts will be leaking through the vents once you start night nine. A couple NPCs. Do this fast because we get ourselves the bonus at the end. Make sure you do this all real fast. So a couple NPCs been night nighted. Guess what? Here comes the farts through the vents. We saw the number two before. Here come the farts. Listen, it's a combination. We know it's gonna come. It's like thunder and lightning. You know you're gonna get both of them. So I put my fart mask on. This guy here, I'll be honest with you, he's burning in the farts. That's not a good thing right here. Now on this little device right here, you gotta do like a little like hack thing. It's, look how easy this is. First off, when I first ever this i thought it was so hard i'm like what am i doing i realized oh this is so easy look at this so right here i'm destroying the little blue circles the circuits the circuits are breaking but i'm gonna break in right here into this gay garage right here whole bunch of npcs in here one of them actually have armor so make sure you're ready for these npcs because one of them have armor on them and trust me it doesn't go down without a fight but it took them down pretty darn easy because i have some overpowered weapons right we actually destroy all these cars right here in the garage for fun i actually did it like later on in this mission right here but watch out there's a whole bunch of npcs hiding between these cars and stuff whatnot this guy was running back and forth maybe he was like one of those zombies right well, somebody needs to make a mod of those zombies into like story mode that's gonna be so hyped so right here this last and final guy see you later alligator we gotta steal the broadway i'm not a fan of broadway i can't watch a musical it's not my cup of tea right i like myself some seltzer so right here going to open this door a guy doesn't even know what's going on he sees what's going on but he's like i don't really care this job doesn't pay as much make sure to take out those npcs because later on a mission we would have to so i came back over here to my nice new vehicle we have a vehicle right here now you can't keep any of the vehicles this week for the salvage yard you gotta sell all them. This is a pretty cool car. It looks like it came from the 50s. I don't know what that thing on the right side is. Maybe it's like a like a horn or maybe an engine or maybe it's a... I don't know what it is, nor do I care because I don't really drive cars in this game. I'm a presser kind of guy, right? Now, hold on. You can't just leave just yet, Dim. You got to go there and got to do a little computer thing. Get a hack into it and get some stuff going on there. Open those doors because, listen, they weren't kind enough to open the doors for me, so I got to do it myself. I got to find the codes and bada boom bada... This guy's leg. What's going on there? I'll be honest with you. He was getting a stretch of a lifetime, maybe. So bada boom bada bing time to get into this vehicle right here and i gotta leave watch out there's some epics waiting for you right here in this gosh darn tunnel now it's time for me to lose the fuzz because i'm gonna be honest with you it takes some time to lose the fuzz especially for this gosh darn mission i recommend always going to like a tunnel or something like that me personally i can usually drive away from them but you know the npcs in this game know exactly which are there's no realism to it It'll take a couple minutes to lose these stars here i literally almost destroyed my car it almost exploded you just never know what those kind of lands right there so bada boom bada bing i recommend coming Coming over here on the train tracks to this tunnel right here watch out for the trains because i don't know the time schedule they have a mind of their own if you're lucky enough you won't see one but me i almost got hit by one right there now it's time to bring this back to my savage yard i recommend trying to get all the gosh darn bonuses so you get yourself additional hundred fifty thousand dollars for all three cars in total because more money the better right there so i got myself the car for right here for my gosh darn savage yard give me an extra fifty thousand dollars if i do this every time for the next two missions a total of hundred fifty thousand dollars eventually i got this car right here high pay right here 
$430,000. I'm going to sell in the invite only session. You just love this. Now, I recommend driving safely because you just never know. You just never know because these NPCs have a mind of their own. I never do this in a public session because I'm just too scared, especially on PC. Even though they say there's no modders on there anymore, there are. Somebody like literally gave me money the other day. They start dumping money and RP on me. I'm like, can they not? That's usually why I play an invite only session. So, usually a modder trying to night night me. We're here at $403,000. I can't do basic math but that's okay i can make a lot of money in this game that's something that's very important so right here another car the car actually i showed you in the video three hundred thirty four thousand dollars this one here sells for it's the same mission it's the same exact mission you just gotta drive it to the docks and bada boom bada bang only that's different is the missions how to get the vehicles so bada boom bada bang once again two hundred sixty two thousand dollars right there you just love to see the over a million dollars plus i made right there with the salvage art for this week in gta 5 line this is tremendous i'm gonna make even more money right here at the bill office because if you didn't know every day in gta 5 line is always a new person that needs to be caught we need to catch this guy over here leroy the big old l it's gonna get actually caught by yours truly now leroy is my guy for today so i'm getting myself my nice truck and come over here to this motel that's i'll be honest with you it's not the best of motels but that's what motels usually look like in real life i'll be honest so i made it over here to this suite of motels this right here it looks like the most best suite i've ever seen in a motel i never been to a motel but if i had to find one this is probably what it looks like so right here this guy hit me back ahead i don't know why but he did and now i'm somewhat flabbergasted well, what's going on here i'm waking up i'm sweaty i'm smelly things are not working i can't see straight i'm walking like a gosh darn penguin right here what's going on i have no clothes i have some clothes but not all of them hey look at this i did find myself a pool stick of all objects i found myself a pool stick hey so Dave, you gonna play some pool nah no nah, actually why can't we play pool in this game that's the first time i thought about that right there so right here this door it's electric i'll use this pool stick right here to turn off the power because listen I'm not a fan of that door right there because if I touch it, I get zapped and I don't want to be zapped, right? Now, make sure you have armor and snacks. Actually, just snacks with this mission right here because I'll be honest with you, these NPCs you're about to see in this gosh darn house, they will actually throw some hands with you pretty darn good. But here's my cell phone. Pro tip, I never had a cell phone until I was 25 years old. Isn't that crazy? I don't care for them. I can actually probably live without one. Hey, so Deb, you, you really have no friends. Yeah, I have none, but I night night this guy pretty hard, right? This guy didn't see it coming. But wait, it gets better. His brothers are going to come and say, hey, Deb, what are you doing? that's a pool stick and this guy hit me with a crowbar this guy he should have gave me the crowbar but this pool stick came in handy now i gotta look around this house right here for the keys to get myself out of here or a gosh darn shit again because i'll be honest with you this pool stick isn't holding up listen it's done its job but it, it, the shotgun needs to do its job i can tell you that makes it a lot easier on me because listen these gosh darn npcs they usually get me on every swing now watch out watch out for the npcs it will come out of nowhere now upstairs is a place you want to go if you want to leave this house a lot faster you don't need to find the keys forget about the keys because literally we can just go outside to one of these side doors right here you just gotta find the room this door actually is locked it's usually never locked but for today it is but this door right here look at it it's wide open guess what we can actually leave this place but watch out the npcs are over there chilling like villains but look over here we have a shotgun just chilling on this ledge i'm gonna need this ammo because they literally took everything for me even the gosh darn clothes on my back now they're over there chilling now we don't want a night night leroy because the big l is a guy we need and the more damage we cause on leroy listen the value of him is gonna to go down we want to keep them as good as possible $129,000 the price of Bitcoin eventually listen we love Bitcoin right we also love completing this mission right here without losing any lives because actually we have lives watch out for these guys coming in cars because listen they're out for you, I tell you that. Now, over here, a whole bunch of NPCs around the house. Just take them out. It's pretty darn easy stuff here. They have some pretty good aim, though. I actually almost got night night a couple times. Thank goodness I had snacks on me. If I didn't, I would have got night night. And over here, I almost ran into a gosh darn wall because, listen, there's a lot of NPCs over here. But right here, I got to collect myself. Leroy is right over there. I do not want a night night Leroy because I do not want to lose any money right here. Me, personally, I just want to throw hands with Leroy. But uh, I got close. And out of nowhere, I somehow, you know, got him once with it. I wouldn't recommend doing that just use the hands because i'm about to do like an avengers punch right here and knock them to another dimension look at that right there i'm so strong listen i'll be honest with you they took everything from me but my gosh darn strength because i'm so strong now leroy listen you gotta go you gotta go i'm the fake police i'm gonna take you and bring you back to the bell office i'll get myself one hundred twenty nine thousand dollars. now when driving back you're gonna be dealt with some kind of npcs trying to night night you if you actually crash your car you could get night nighted so keep that in mind just make sure you have armored snacks when doing this mission right here if you ever get it during the week so that's what i did right here right so watch out the npcs will start popping up once you get close to the highway they're out and about for you they 
want to get Leroy back to the house. Listen, he's not going back to the house. He's going straight to jail. Still to this day, I don't know why we got police cars to buy if we can't use them for the bail office, Rockstar. Just give me police cars for my bail office and actual zombies in free mode, and we're going to call it a day. Then we can jump to GTA 6, right? So I eventually got Leroy to the bail office where he belongs because, listen, he's causing a lot of trouble on the streets, but these are my streets, I tell you. Now, I'm not going to get the full payout automatically right here. It's going to give me the whole entire, you know, one, two, where here secured leroy listen i got myself 15 job points what's that about i don't know and a whole bunch of rp right there now leroy you're going to jail you don't get any food at all because you're gonna get like processed real quick i don't know how leroy keeps on getting on the streets they have like some kind of new york slash california laws over here i don't know what's going on here. this place is a mess now me personally i don't know how long it takes for leroy or any other person to get processed so me personally i usually walk over here to the gosh darn cameras and sit here for like five to ten minutes and see if you know if it's processed yet i don't keep a timer on it i'm like is leroy processed did leroy get back on the streets is he in jail right now guess what leroy gave me one hundred twenty nine thousand dollars. that's the big l for you but we guys was a big w right here making a lot of money in gta 5 line but make yourself even more money check out this video right here i literally start a rank one make myself millions of dollars i catch you on it